The overall goal of this procedure is to understand the integration of inputs along the very complex structure of the neuronal dendritic tree, which finally leads to the neuronal output of action potentials at the axon. This is accomplished by first pulling the appropriate iontophoretic pipettes. The second step is to test the iontophoretic pipettes and to correctly compensate their capacitance. Next, establish the whole cell configuration. The final step is to approach the dendrite and to evoke postsynaptic potentials in the recorded cell. Ultimately, fast microiontophoresis allows investigating the integration of multiple inputs, which can also belong to different neurotransmitter systems. This method can help to answer key questions in the neuroscientific field, like how inhibitory and excitatory inputs are integrated and under which conditions this can lead to neuronal output. Begin this procedure by pulling pipettes with very small tips for controlled neurotransmitter iontophoresis with a horizontal or vertical pipette puller. Small fine tips can be achieved with several pulling steps. However, the tip should still be rigid enough to penetrate into the tissue. Next, set up the iontophoretic amplifier. To test the pipette performance in a chamber without tissue, fill the pipette with neurotransmitter and dye-containing solution. Then, place it into the ACSF. Subsequently, compensate the capacitance with the amplifier. Usually, very sharp pipettes will have a higher capacitance than the blunt ones. After the capacitance is compensated correctly, check the resistance of the pipette with the built-in feature of the microiontophoresis amplifier. The pipette should have a resistance between 25 and 90 mega ohms. Afterward, focus on the pipette tip with a 60x or 40x water immersion objective.